Hello everyone, Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism here today. And today we're really at a cool location uh, over towards Boaz. Is it, this is the Boaz area. Between right. Boaz and Basswood. Between Boaz and Basswood. Mm -hmm. We are at the Cream Pitcher Bed and Breakfast. Now this is really significant in a couple of ways. Uh, the fact that we are at a bed and breakfast, number one. There <laughs> are not many bed and breakfasts remaining in Wisconsin, so your choices kind of are getting limited. And then number two, you folks have been operating the bed and breakfast for a while, so you've got a little experience, know what works, uh, really know to listen to your guests and kind of hear what their, their likes are. And so you <coughs> tend to be, I think, subject matter experts on this. So um, today uh, we have Vern and Diane Dahlberg, uh, the owners, proprietors of the Cream Pitcher Bed and Breakfast. So first off, when I talk with folks in the Richland area and tourism related businesses, I always like to hear a little bit of your story and that is, how did you get to, I mean, you really were on a mission because the home that you have for your bed and breakfast did not exist. You really started from scratch. Right. So you were, you were on a mission and a goal here. Kind of help us understand how you started in this business of the bed and breakfast. Okay, well, this is the farm where Vern grew up. It's been in his family since 1854. Hmm. And I grew up a short distance away. And the farm where I grew up was in our family since 1848. Oh so our roots go deeply into Richland County. And we had this, this farm, this property. And after um, my Vern's parents passed away, we decided to move back here and this is what we decided to do. You were going to be okay. operators of a bed and breakfast. Right. And you mentioned 1848 and 1850 that the families have owned the land for those time frames. Right. right. That is the original deeding of the property from, I believe it was the Millard Fillmore administration <laughs> if you wondered, but okay. true, it, it really was. So, because mm -hmm. uh, I've seen a couple of these abstracts. So that, that was deeded originally from the federal government. So they've really been here a long time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So very interesting. Um, so you, you started the bed and breakfast and you said 22 years ago? Right. right. So 22 years of experience. Uh, kind of help us understand the offerings that you have here. Okay, well we have, we have four guest rooms um, and we serve full breakfast every morning and people love to come out and enjoy the being out in the country. Yep. So, and that's one of the things I would say, you know, that the area here in the valley is beautiful. And we're, we're on the tail end of color, but I can see it. You know, there, uh -huh. there's still some nice color out. Uh, I know you have a beautiful patio area back behind me with a fire pit. Vern, I understand you're the caretaker of the out of doors. Is that correct? Out, out keeper. The out keeper. <laughs> out keeper, right. right, yeah. I believe a granddaughter gave you that title. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. So you so, are the out keeper. Yeah. Um, we have trails in the woods and yep. for hiking and get a lot of hunters here quite a few hunters and okay in motorcyclists too i believe correct yeah. Oh, yeah. so really a wide range of guests that come and enjoy uh, the bed and breakfast and the breakfast i you did sneak a little treat to me <laughs> I, I had a, a nice banana cake uh, piece that was awesome thank you for that <laughs> um and that's not why i came i, I have <laughs> sneaky suspicion i might get food out of it but i didn't expect that thank <laughs> you um so you're open year round is that correct we are we okay. are so open year round four rooms mm -hmm. so uh, not just a, a spring, summer, fall, but also during the winter. Mm -hmm. And we have quite a few, uh, now our winter offerings are getting to a little broader of things we can do with snowshoeing, right. not just snowmobiling. Yeah. Uh, the winery is open year round as well. So The um, terrain here is a little rugged for cross country skiing, but we do have guests that come out and snowshoe. And do snowshoeing as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. And the directions to get out here, I was impressed because turn by turn navigation did work. Mm -hmm. And then also you do have a little signage on the way here. What, what do people look for? A little cream pitcher Just on the sign Just look for the cream post. pitcher, mm -hmm. that's right. Some, now, some it, people call it the teacup. <laughs> <laughs> get a teacup, cream pitcher, yeah. close enough. Yeah. <laughs> so you did share a really interesting story with how you came to the name, the cream pitcher. Uh, and when people walk inside, they'll get it. but. Share, if you would, with that a little bit. Okay, well, um, we just started collecting cream pitchers about 40 years ago, and it just kind of snowballed, and yeah. we have probably uh, probably between three and 400 
pictures in our house and we have pictures in every, every all the guest rooms and in the living room in the kitchen and um Talking about Gillingham yeah, yeah. yeah. where did your yeah. first one come yes, from yes from the from the Gillingham cheese factory yep. my parents took their milk there and um at christmas time there were um the cheese factory gave a thank you gift to my folks for um taking their milk there and my mom gave that to me after we were married and kind of snowballed from there. You still have, so we blame your mom someday yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you do, you, you have uh, just a multitude of cream pitchers started by the first gift your mom mm -hmm. gave you. So that, mm -hmm. that is really cool. Well, thank you guys. We really hope folks uh, come and visit uh, here at the Cream Pitcher Bed and Breakfast. Vern and Diane, just the nicest hosts. You, you couldn't find nicer people. The views here are fantastic. Very much, you know, the driftless area. You know, mm -hmm. the narrow valleys with some steep hills, a lot of wooded acreage, very beautiful scenery here. Mm -hmm. um, I know you have a beautiful fire pit patio area for everybody to enjoy. All of the bedrooms have their own uh, bathroom as yes. well, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's not typical on, on all bed and breakfasts as well. Uh, but then also just <coughs> beautiful outdoor areas and if you do come in the winter time and you're worried about staying cool uh, warm <laughs> that's not a problem because the outkeeper now this <laughs> is the one thing he does do indoors <laughs> right yes, yes the outkeeper uh keeps just a beautiful fireplace going and that's how you heat the home right so it is going all winter long right and then a wood stove downstairs you do okay yeah. mm -hmm. so plenty of heat you'll be warm all year long Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for joining me. Really okay. appreciate your time. <laughs> sure. uh, we really encourage you to check out the Cream Pitcher Bed and Breakfast. And real quick, how would they find uh, your information online for a reservation? Um, <coughs> to go to the Wisconsin Bed and Breakfast Association website, which is Wisconsin B and B. Okay. And then also com. I know a simple Google search will bring your website up as right. well. So mm -hmm. pretty easy to, to find the cream pitcher bread and breakfast. Uh, Vern and Diane, mm -hmm. thanks again. Uh, hope you folks find an occasion to come on out and visit and really uh, get to have some down home uh, experience <laughs> and really some cool driftless hospitality. For Richland Center Tourism, I'm Marty Richards. Have a great day. <laughs>